Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Pokemon. It's me, Cooper, and today we're going to try and get uh, back to the, the ruins, because we got to go meet up with our, with our friend, the Warden of the Pearl Clan, and our enemy, the Warden of the other clan, the Diamond Clan. That guy's a dick. Mally's his name, her name, I don't know. Mally? Yeah, that one's a dick. So we're just going to zoom on through here, because we don't need to deal with any of this bullcrap. Oh, I went the wrong way. It was nice having him guide me through here. I didn't have to deal with this. Uh, that fucking Gibble? What the hell? Gibble, what are you doing in here? It's lonely in here. Maybe you need to get in the ball. Alright, you want to fight instead? Let's fight. Caught Gibble unaware. Hooray. Oh, you're only level 20. What the hell? I'm sorry, little Gibble. I didn't know. Here, let's put you to sleep. Let's get you some sleep. I didn't want to hurt you anyway. You're too stunned to move. Oh, no. Little guy, I'm sorry. Here, I think a bite would kill you, honestly. We'll just throw a Pokeball. Maybe you'll want to join us. If you don't, you don't. But I, I wouldn't mind a Gibble being uh, in, my, in my box somewhere. Yeah, there we go. We got a Gibble, everybody. That's kind of cool. I didn't know there was a Gibble in here. Just happened to find it when I got lost. I am literally st- Oh, there's the torches. The torches lead. Oh, look. It's this rock thing. Alright, thank you. Is it really just for some iron chunks? Alright, why not? Where are those torches again? The ones that lead the way? You. And you. Oh, wait. This is the beginning again. Okay. So, follow the torches. Follow the torches. There we go. Hey! We did it, guys. If you just follow the torches, the rest is easy. Out of curiosity, I'm going over here. Hey there, Barboach. Aw, oh, you're being a dick. You cost me a ball. Hey there, Wishcast. Oh, you're being a dick, too. Everyone's being a little jerky today. That's no fun. Oh, shit. No, thank you. Oh, shit. What did I just say? No, thank you. Noble Pokemon, get me out of here. All right. As much as I like Alpha Crobat, the Crobat I have in my team is one I trained. I worked for to get to Crobat, so I know it's it's got some attachment to me. Got some Golbats out here tonight. Lots of them. Parasects, too. That's no good for me. I also need to remember how the hell I got to the place before. I was running through here for sure. Hey there, Stanley. Look, I'm your evolved form. Parasects and Golbats. I have both Parasect and a Crobat in my team, so that's kind of nice. Uh, can't climb that, so let's go this way. Yay, I made it back here. Okay. Now that I'm back here, let's try to catch us a Bronzor. Who the hell is targeting me? Let's try to catch us a Bronzor. I'll never know if they're looking at me or not. They're pretty tiny, though, so it's going to be hard for me to hit them. At a distance. Son of a bitch. Alright, you want to fight? You want to... No, no, not this Pokemon. Not 2v1 either. Alright. You want to fight so bad? Alright, there we go. I choose this Bronzor instead of the other one. And I'm going to crunch it. Oh wait, Steel doesn't resist Dark anymore. Yikes. Yep, sorry guys. I've been playing a different Pokemon game in which uh, that is not the case. So, that's a thing. Just a, it looks like it's Alpha, but that's just a Bronzor. They have red eyes. That's normal. I don't know what they eat. Oh, I don't think an Orenberry would work in this case. But if they turn around, they're mine. Back attack. Holy crap, I got it. Bronzong has been caught at level 38. Nice. Couldn't even get a Bronzor. Number of heavy specimens. Alright, cool. I got a heavy specimen. It's hard to tell which ones are the heavies, but we'll take it. 
Looks like there's more of that purple smoke over here. Got some apple corn. Is that a freaking Ursa ring? Ooh, if I want to get that new Ursa Luna, Ursa ring's a must. Yeah. Now, they are probably hard to catch, but I might as well try. He ran far. He doesn't know where I am, though. I hid. I always will be hiding. You like hopeful berries? That, uh... That's something you're a fan of? He seems to like hopeful berries. Okay. Or she. I actually didn't notice. Please let me catch you. Damn it. You're not making this easy, are you? How the hell do you know where I am? I'm hiding. Wait, no. No. No, I'm hiding. Screw you. Alright. You want to fight me? Let's see you fight someone your own size. An alpha. Play, Roth. That's a really good move. You're a really high level also. Uh, let's show you my X scissor. Holy crap, the critical hit. Nice. Bulldoze. That shouldn't do any damage. But it does lower my speed stat. Alright, let me go ahead and use Spore. If I still want to catch this guy, I'm going to need him sleepy. A ground move. That'll do no damage. Thank God, my Parasect gets to live a little longer. No guarantees who survives the whole ordeal, but, you know, a little longer is nice. Ursaring, why do you gotta look at me like that before I try to catch you? Oh, yeah, I got it! I knew I caught it because the ball didn't fly too high. He didn't resist. Alright, we got ourselves an Ursaring now. That's kind of cool. Maybe I'll get myself an Ursaluna. I don't know. Get me a noble Pokemon. Who the hell's hiding in the tree? I'm curious. The hell is that? Oh god, it's a Heracross. That's a horrible matchup. How do I run? Oh good, he used the worst move possible. Yeah, you bet your ass I strayed too far. I'm protecting my Pokemon. At least I saw it leap out of a tree. That's a win. Alright. Maybe I get another Ursa Ring if he turns around. Are those Teddy Ursas over there? Like a tiny one and a big one? Yeah, I knew that'd be hard. Turn around, bitch. Ah, screw it. I don't like you're gonna care. I just gotta get out of there. Oh my god, you can still see me? No, you can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. I'm behind a tree. You don't see shit. I'm going after your babies. Oh, it's so tiny. I love it. I want the tiniest of Ursa rings. No, don't run. Okay, okay. He gets away. I mean, the tiniest of Teddy Ursa, sorry. Here, you know what? They like hopeful berries. I saw that. Here you go. They like hopeful berries, so here's another one. I know you're scared, don't worry. There's a hopeful bear. Oh, I hit you with it. I'm sorry. Alright, well, a little one got away, but it's fine. We still got the big one. And we caught it. Nice. All right. Teddy Ursa has been caught. All right. This is cool. Is that a Shinx? I mean, Teddy Ursa was a little surprising, but seeing a Shinx this far out is weird. I think everything would be pretty evolved by now. I've got something to do. Okay. Oh, we're going to set up a camp here? I love that idea. Hello. Do you work with Volo? Ah, uh, you're part of Team Galax uh, Galaxy, alright. What do you need me to do? But it seems not much progress has been made since that Bronzor is getting in the way. I'll take care of it, don't worry. Oh, I'll find what Bronzor wants. Wants to die. That's what it wants. Piece of shit. You wanna fight? Get out of this area, we're trying to catch stuff. I mean, I'm trying to make a camp. Zor. Alright, I'll take it. Holy shit, I made the jump. That's crazy. He wants one of these berries, doesn't he? Is that what you want? You want a Chesto berry? Alright, Bronzor. Oh, I made it? Nope, didn't make it. Close, though. I, I did it. I got you a Chesto berry. Zor! 
Oh, no? That's not what you wanted? Oh, is there a bronze or way over there? I see it. I see it. Alright, you're gonna make me fight you? Here's an electric type. Have fun. I already caught a gold duck, so you, you could just die, honestly. Yeah, speeding me makes sense. No, Luxray! That's alright, Luxray. You got wild charge. Looks like the strongest electric move in the game. For physical attackers. Alright, I took care of the gold duck, Lu uh, Bronzor. Are we cool? Zor. Zor! Zor! It's wounded. This is no good. Here, I'll fix you up. Let me fix you up. And there we go. Zor! Zazor! Seems Ronzor at the new campsite was looking for its friend the whole time. Aw, that's nice. You're a nice person. Okay, good. We got a new camp, everybody. We got the mountain camp, which is probably the most dangerous camp to date. Like, I would not, I would not camp at the mountain camp, given a choice. Let's just have you catch that. Alright. Where's the mission I'm going to? Way over there? Okay. Before I go over there, let me see this area. Carnivines. Nothing new. Nothing too new. Alright. Here we go. Whee! Oh, wow. I made it. <laughs> Imagine if I couldn't swim by this point. Holy crap. Hey, the bronzers are staying. I oh, know. I just need to heal. Sir, I'd like to talk. How did I go inside of you? You know what? Don't answer that question. You probably, you know, make the age rating of this video go up. Oh, wait. I already said this video is for adults, not for children. As it should be, because I like to say words that are of the cursing variety. You know, the things that kids should not be listening to, despite the fact that we all listen to it at very, at very young age. And nobody could stop us. All right. What's up, Ingo? You would never expect to be able to climb such sheer cliffs, and yes. Oh, do we have rock climb? But with Sneasler as an ally, it becomes the work of a moment. She is at home on a cliff face. One might think she knew some secrets, some hidden move. Hidden moves? What am I saying? Hidden moves? There are no such thing in Hisui, surely. You definitely are from Diamond and Pearl. That's the only place that uh, rock climb existed. As of HM, I think. Maybe. I might be wrong on that one. Who knows? Platinum also. If you fell from the sky, you could also uh, you can come from another world altogether, most likely. Oh shit! I get to battle you. You probably are one of the stronger people in this world, Mister Battle Subway Man. Oh crap! I'm a choke. Uh oh. I really hope I have the right Pokemon out front. Two of my team members, like Parasect and Crobat, will murder a choke. Oh, this guy's got three members. You know what? He is from another world, so it makes sense. Also, Typhlosion. Typhlosion's a ghost type. Yeah, okay, this should be a good fight. It's not going to be easy, but it should be a good one. I go with Flamethrower. Yeah, my chokes are pretty tanky. Agile style, so it's not going to try and kill me, but it gets to attack twice. Bullet punch. It's alright, buddy. I oh, he's bulking up, but sadly that doesn't increase special defense. So it looks like you're a dead man. That's cool that you have bullet punch, though. Really cool. Yeah, okay, so it makes sense for him to have three Pokemon. Because, one, he's from the Battle Subway where they only have three Pokemon, unless it's double battles. And two, holy shit, a Gliscor. Can I, I don't even have time to switch. Survive the mud, survive the mud bomb, survive the freaking Typhlosion. Every fight you die. Every single fight. Yep, you're obscured, all right. Celio, get in there. Gliscors have one major weakness, and that's ice. And you know the strongest ice, or the most useful ice move in existence. Ice Beam! It does piercing damage, because it goes through the, you know, it goes through the Pokemon. Alright, what else do you got? Tangela! Oh, that's not very good, but it should do good to against me. Oh, crap! Well, if I get an attack off, you die. If you get grass move off, I die. Let's find out. Because Tangela's do not have good special defense. Weirdly enough, they're physical tanks. They actually have like a hundred physical defense, I think. It's really interesting. If you were into Gen 1 Pokemon and Gen 1 stats back in the... Like, let's say Fire Red, Leaf Green... Uh, sorry. Red, Blue, uh, Yellow, even up to Crystal. 
Tangela was one of those interesting Pokemon being a pure grass type that was physically tanky. Alright, I beat you. Now alongside Call Sneasler. Oh, is this Sneasler's area? It's not so fanciful. I don't know why I thought I was going to see a nice, interesting area. Whoa. What the hell? Just a, no a long Sneasel? Is that what a Sneasler is? Okay. That's fine. You remind me of that Meowth Gigamax form. But you're like human now. Okay. Would you be so kind to play your food f f uh, for her to hear? Yeah, I'll try. So, Sneasler. Why do you, uh... Why do you look like you just stretched out to look, you know, to be in human form? It's strange. I'm glad you got stronger claws, though. That's smart. That way you can use stuff like Night Slash. Oh, that's nice. You opened your heart. I like the face. The face on... Oh, it's poison type. You're not dark uh, ice anymore? Okay, you're a poison type. That's interesting. All aboard. What the hell? The trains don't exist. Sneasler, I'm going to be on its back. That's adorable. God, that's adorable. Oh my god. Look at my eyes! Oh, that's cute! I love it. I love it. Sneezler, can I just... Yep, we're just gonna stay on your back forever. It's basically... You get to play as the Pokemon now. Like, I know that's basically what you're doing with the other ones, but, like, you know, when you're riding something, it feels like you're not in complete control, but damn. Let us ascend. Oh, look, a Gligar. Oh, come on. I hid... Alright, Sneasler, come back out. What are your moves? You can't do anything? Okay. You just climb walls? That's still pretty nice. Can you attack this tree? No, okay. Like I said, it's still pretty nice of you. Oh, what the hell? You can climb trees? That was kind of interesting, at least. Oh, well, Gligar, despite your ability to fly, I'm sure you can't follow me up here. Graveler, leave us alone. We're going about our business, so mind yours. The hell is that thing moving at two frames a second? Is that like a Magnemite or something? A Magnazone? Mount Coronet makes sense. This is where Magnazone was invented. Created, more like. Ooh, what are the odds I actually can hit it? Holy crap, I hit it. Holy crap, I caught it. <laughs> I am good at those. Holy, that, that's great. That's honest. That's honestly great. Got ourselves a Magnezone. That's really cool. Alright. You know what I need to do? I need to revive my partner. He's not getting any experience from these catches. Look at him. He's so sad. Uh, I got revives now, so I might as well use it. Here you go, buddy. Sorry if I don't heal you completely. Dawnstone, what the... What do you mean I don't have enough items in my set? Where did this Dawnstone come from? Uh, just discard. I don't, I don't even care. Discard him. Give me, give me this. There's a freaking Dawnstone over here? That's crazy. I like that Sneasler's just about us at our running speed. That's kind of nice. I'm going to have to throw away a lot of items now because I have not been to a camp. I was just at a camp. That was dumb of me not to use the camp. Another Gibble and a goodbye. It's that thing's an alpha. I'm just going to Sneasel my way up. Oh. I'm just gonna sneeze on my way out of here. I'm st I'm taller than a go alpha gabite. Oh, good job with your dragon rush. It was very cute. All right. Oh, what is that? Oh, a nose pass. That's cool. Hold up. Don't mind trying to get me a nose pass. I'm almost out of balls. I need to work on that. I need to work on item space and balls. Hey, got me a nose pass. That's kind of cool. Oh, glass. son of a bitch. They can see you from a mile away. Oh, wait. I'm not allowed to. Oh, I am allowed to open the treasure chest. Just No, don't battle Luxray. Okay, good job, Luxray. Yeah, I found an old school Pokeball. Why would there be a Pokeball in there? Oh, was there another item in there? I need, uh... Need to throw away some useless stuff. Eh. 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 <laughs> I 
just threw a bunch of shit at it. Holy shit. And I caught it. That's that's funny. That I don't care what anybody says. That's freaking funny. I'm funny. Oh, man. All right. Here's some plump beans. You love these. Oh, you trying to pretend to be a tree now? That's cute. Here. Get in the ball. All right. Be careful, Celio. We don't know what hides in boxes. Oh, the Voltorb! Hey, there we go, guys! We found the new Voltorb. And yes, I was gonna say, I believe it's grass type, so Celio just got screwed over. Well, Celio, that's a shame. Uh, it's a grass electric type, so a Parasect is actually the perfect Pokemon to fight it. Um, and I'm not trying to kill it is the problem, but holy crap, Parasect, do not eat it. I know what you're thinking! It's small and delectable, but do not eat it. Oh, well, you ate it. Okay. Poisoned it up a little too much. New Ultra Ball. What? Ultra Ball? I thought I threw items away. What the hell? Alright, let me throw some more items away. Uh, we don't need wood. I have plenty of that. Uh, let's go ahead. I don't need this. I don't need a ball of mud. Uh, don't need whatever a sword cap does. Everything else looks pretty useful, at least. Um... Doppel bonnets. Okay. Dire shroom. Oh, I don't really want to get rid of the rarer sounding items. Alright, got ultra balls now. That's kind of cool. Scatterbang. Oh, shit. Yep. Scatterbang will come in handy. Is this scatterbang? Nope. Sticky glob. Scatterbang. Spooked ya. Oh, shit. He's immune. He's immune to fear. That's a powerful Pokemon right there. Hey, look. I got you a food. Lots of Pokemon in this area, like seriously. I gotta I gotta watch my back. Oh well I actually got hit by something. Let's sneeze, get me out of here. Yes, ascend. Where no one has ascended before. Oh that was kinda cool. Is that an Alpha Luxray? Oh man. Sorry, Alpha Luxray, I already caught a Luxray. I'm not trading him out for you. Sorry, Luxio, Sneezler's fast. Enough. Now there's Voltorbs I would try to get. If these things aren't following me still. Alright. Well, they're still following me. Do you not know where I am anymore? Good. Good. That worked out. Here. Everyone likes orange berries. And I don't have a Voltorb yet, so let's try. Hey, new Voltorb, everybody. We got it. We freaking got it. Excuse me, sneeze. Is that a freaking Rotom? Oh, shit. Hold up. That's a pretty cool Pokemon, all things considered. Let's see if I can sneak my way to it. I can't tell if this is your back or not. I don't see eyes, so I guess it is your back. Definitely. Hey, we got it. Nice. A freaking Rotom. How do you change its forms? Oh, wait. Hold up. Crobat got a new move. I've been trying to pay attention to that now. Leech Life. Actually, not bad. 75 power now. It used to be horrible, but it's not bad. You know what? Bite's still 60. Leech Life can heal me. Let's go with Leech Life. I didn't do that correctly, did I? Nope, I did not. Let's go with Leech Life. I feel like that's a cool idea. There we go. Plus, bug's pretty good, uh, good typing. Do a lot with bug type. Oh, wow. You just keep going up the mountain, don't you? But who needs to do that when I found the guy? Look at me, man. I got a Sneasler carrying me around because it's such a nice Pokemon. Look at this thing. Who thought of this? It's just Long Sneasel. I got nothing against it, but it's just Long Sneasel. Welcome to Moonview Arena, the seat of Lord Electrode. I know I've not ex exactly uh, been supportive of you reaching this place, but a part of me did hope you'd make it. Call me contradictory all you like, Galaxy Grunt, but such is life. Embracing the complexity of both ourselves and the world can help us grow. As a member of the Diamond Clan, my highest calling is to please the Almighty Sinnoh. Alright.
We're gonna really fight you again, because I'll admit, Skun Tank's, like, decently strong. Oh, please don't tell me Typhlosion. Okay, good, it's Luxray. Luxray can fight a Skun Tank. Oh, you have a Zubat at the same time, and Skun Tank leveled- And a Skorupi at the same time, what?! Oh, shit. Well, before I die... Oh, they're level 22s, okay. Before I die, let's take out some of the enemies. Goodbye, Zubat. A three-on-one, sir. I'm surprised you could train three Pokemon, let alone control them all at once. I'm only allowed to use one at a time. That might not even kill Luxray. Nope. That will kill Luxray. Poison Grab is really strong. Luxray, you did a great job. Don't you ever feel bad about that. Um... Crobat, you being a poison type really helps in this situation, so why don't you come out? And, uh, why don't you air slash the bug? Yeah. And now it's just you and me, Skuntank. Granted, you're a pretty high-level Pokemon, but I'm not a slouch. I'm 43. I could take you. There we go. Hey, Night Slash versus Air Slash. Cool. You got the crit, though. Lucky you. Air Slash. Oh, no! Crobat! I couldn't block it. The game won't let me. Ah, oh, crap. I don't want Typhlosion to die, but you know what? He's the only thing probably fast enough to kill it right now. Do not die, Typhlosion. You die in every fight, and you lose a lot of experience because of it. Just hit it with a flamethrower. Defeated Skun Tank. Hey, Rhydog got up there in levels. That's good. That's good. <sighs> Let's make one thing clear. I didn't lose. You may have won, but there's a difference. Shut up. I just lacked her time. Yes, I'm afraid there simply wasn't enough time for me to raise my Pokemon nice and strong. Uh, could this be why Adamant is always going on and on about uh, time being a precious thing? Dude, I've been here for like two days. I've literally been here for two days. I know what comes next. You want to know what pleases Lord Electrode so you can make the bombs for it. Well, I'm afraid I won't be able to help you. Because I have completely forgotten what Electrode likes. I don't believe you. Melly's really giving you a runaround, isn't he, Cooper? I thought you had a talk with him, Adam, and why is he still being a dick? Adam, man! What now? I could hear you just now, you know? Are you really gonna tell this little noodle what he needs to find? Just like that? Shut up. Lest we all forget, you're the leader of the Diamond Clan. Why do you bother with these galaxy louts? Use your eyes, Melly. Haven't you even looked at your frenzied lord? Don't you feel a twinge of how it suffers, fighting to control the energy that's bursting out of it? I see nothing but a Pokemon overcome with joy at being among Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Anyway, it's not like trials and suffering are always cause for doom and gloom. I'm sorry, Melly. I can't write off these frenzies as some trial from Almighty Sinnoh. That's why I'm doing the best I can to help Cooper here. This is bigger than what team, uh, than what team or clan we belong to. Oh, by the way, I wasn't just going to tell him what he needs, Crunchy Salt. Uh, I was going to go right ahead and give it to him. That's right. I actually need Crunchy Salt. Funny enough, I need that for an old man at back at play at the place. Fine. At the end of the day, let none of us say that the great Melly sh uh, shirked his duties as a warden. Oh, this guy. He's been a bitch the whole time. But that's fine. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I want to thank you all for watching. Next time, we're going to go in there and deal with the frenzied electrode. Will you heal me? You bitch. Alright, that's fine. I can go in there with just, uh, right on. Parasect will do it. But that's going to be it. Bye-bye, everybody.